the main goal of our research is to understand the molecular and cellular mechanisms that regulate the development of the brain, and more particularly the development of the cerebral cortex from the embryo to the adult. A question that we are trying to answer is how such an incredibly complex and highly organized organ is formed. What mechanism making sure that the right type of neurons are made at the right time and the right location? And a fundamental problem uh, investigated in, in the lab and connected to the first questions is what are the causes of uh, brain malformations with developmental origin leading to brain disease such as microcephaly, schizophrenia or learning disability. Our current research is mainly focused on one type of cells called the excitatory neurons and our investigations can be subdivided into three main directions. First, the regulation of proliferation and differentiation of the embryonic neural stem cells that produce those neurons. Then the migration of post-mitotic neurons away from their mother cells to finally settle in specific area of the uh, cortex depending on the subtypes of excitatory neurons they uh, belong to. And third, the dendritic and axonal growth and the establishment of uh, connectivity between neurons. We found two different mechanisms by which cell polarity regulates the development of the cortex. Cells are able to establish and maintain an asymmetric distribution of structures and molecules within the cells along an axis, leading to asymmetric cell shape and cell function. So we showed recently that an extracellular matrix protein called relin regulates the polarity of migrating neurons, and I mean by that the directionality of their migration while an intracellular protein called LGL1 regulates the polarity of the embryonic stem cells. Remarkably, they both function by regulating the subcellular localization of a same receptor and cadherin. Defects in those two uh, signaling pathways result in different brain malformations, such as lysencephaly for relin, where the folding of the surface of the cortex is reduced, or periventricular heterotopia for LGL1, resulting from the accumulation of stem cells and neurons in incorrect locations of the brain. So renin is also associated with schizophrenia and autism spectrum disorder, while we found that the inhibition of the LGL1 pathway results in severe epileptic seizures. But the identification of those new mechanisms and molecular pathways involved in the development of the brain and their connection with brain disease is only the beginning. The final goal being the development of early stage screening tests and the identification of new strategies to treat and prevent brain malformations. <laughs>